Good morning. Welcome to Fish and Fly with Gus. It is a Friday morning. It's a beautiful day. Amazing sunrise. This is going to be a really fun day. This is a managed catch and release fly fishing only fishery. It's sure to be a good one. I'm going to record a lot of video today. Hopefully we'll get a couple fish on the line. Thanks for tuning in. Lots of good stuff to come. Let's do it. Arrive at 13092 to 13098 State Route 17. Arrived. The fish in here is really hit or miss. Sometimes it can be absolute fire. Other times you can work all day for a couple of bites if you're lucky. I've heard that the fishing here lately hasn't been great because there's a pelican problem. These big pelicans have been eating the crap out of these fish and nobody's doing anything about it. We're gonna go check it out, meeting up with my buddy Chris and his friend Alex. Gonna tight line this, which means I'm not using an indicator. I'm just gonna keep the line taut so that when the fish bites, you can feel it real easily. But the trick is to not set it too hard. On small tippet and small flies, the risk is, especially after not having a bite for an hour or two, is when you get one to just yank it. And that'll immediately just break the, the fly off. So slow and steady as she goes. I can already see there's a car behind me. There's gonna be a lot of people here. I'm here at eight o'clock, but I'm not gonna be the first guy at the water. There's gonna be several people here before me. I should have brought one, right? <laughs> uh, that's really generous of you. I appreciate the help. I, one of my uh, mistakes was not bringing the net today. It's a decent fish. Oh, what a beautiful morning this is. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Met a couple of really nice guys already. Caught one fish right off the bat. I got it in the net and then it shook off and got out of the net, but I got it on GoPro. Hey, look at that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You're, you're not an iPhone guy by any chance. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> then the second fish was foul hooked, meaning it wasn't hooked in the mouth. So that doesn't count. Really nice fish though. That one might be on the GoPro too. But uh, what a great start to the day, having so much fun. There's a lot of grass in here, so the flies are catching this, this grass. But, uh, you know, it's only nine o'clock or so. I got the whole day, beautiful blue skies and gorgeous feathery clouds. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get them. hooked up right now to a really nice fish. Jeez, this is awesome. This thing is really a tank. Just a toad. This will be the fish of the day right here. Nice and clean here. Excellent, excellent fish. That's a 20 incher. That's a three, that's a three pound fish all day long. 
we're gonna actually get him over to the mainland here. Oh, he's running now. Okay, so nice and steady. Look at this fish, guys. Holy smokes, this is so awesome. Whoa, he broke me off, or he just fell off. Unbelievable. Oh, it's too bad, I don't know how that happened. Fishing, buddy. Dude, the bite is on. Really? Yes. I've hooked a couple of toads, Chris. I'm just stripping it super slow. Yeah, is this Alex? Hey, Joel. Hey, I don't think, have I met you? Probably. Nice. You guys are going to have fun. Uh, get some really tiny flies on, I think's the trick today. Cool. You can't make a splash. They need to be uh, weightless. That's why I put the uh, wading socks on. There he is. He should be fine there. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll text you those photos, man, for sure. Hey, man, if I start on a 25, I ain't fish. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to land that fish, dude. I didn't either. For a minute there, when you started going that way under the bridge. You got, him, got the hook out? Pull him up. <coughs> Very well done. Nice job. <laughs> this is super exciting. Alex and I both watched this fish swim up and just grab this little red and white midge right in front of us. He's uh, every bit of 22, 23 inches or so. We're gonna get a, a release on this fish. This is what it's all about. A little hard to get a hold of him. Look at that fish, that's a nice one. We're gonna get a release right now. A beauty little take right there. This has turned out to be an epic day. I've got three or four fish in the net. That last one, oh, that was a heart stopper. That was so cool. We watched him eat that fly. And then he, he jumped out of the water a couple of times. Alex uh, helped me with the net job. Just a gorgeous fish. The sun's out. Can't ask for a better day, man. Good friends, good fishing. Incredible scenery. Thanks for tuning in. So these white pelicans here, as pretty as they look, they're responsible for eating a lot of these fish and there is no management tool in play that I'm aware of. So not a whole lot we can do. They're just gorging themselves. Yeah, I did pretty good. Up at the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, I got my personal best from, from here today. But I've only been here like four or five times. Okay. But, yeah, this is my first time in here. Dude. Didn't catch a thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, dude, there's so many fish up at the top bridge. Is there? Yeah.
Chris. Decent. Oh, you don't need a net if you don't want. You can. It's okay. If you want, I'll take it, but you don't have to. I don't want to lift his head out too much, but oh, let's just do yeah, it. Side bend, right? side bend. There you yeah, go. Keep him lower. Hey, in the net. That's a beautiful fish. It's a nice fish. Thanks, man. Awesome. Holy hell, dude, that thing's tiny. Yeah, I know. Look at the size of that fly. <laughs> Are you it's, kidding me? It's awesome, right? I'm going to get a I've never video ever fished really. with a friggin' fly that So we're back to this first spot. We're going to try it one more time. See if this guy can get some redemption here. He broke off his fish with the indicator oh. still on the hook, so somewhere out there. Yeah, if he gets lucky, somebody can hook that fish and get the indicator and the fly back at the same time. So. Oh, oh man, <laughs> this is one of those days I never drink. Maybe one beer a month, but uh, here we go. Cheers to all of uh, my fish and fly with Gus friends. Thank you for joining me on this awesome adventure here in central Washington. Actually done really well today. Uh, really a lot of fun hanging out with these guys, Chris and Alex. Chris is the guy that lost that hatchery steelhead last week. You're going to see that video coming soon. So uh, tomorrow we're going to northern Idaho. It's going to be a blast. We're going to try to close this out with maybe one or two more fish. Appreciate you all. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Fly with Gus. Adventure on!